Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura's. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Saturday and a great weekend. Well, we have another unbagging. Let's see who this is from. Well, we have a little package. And we have cross stitch. Take a quick dander here. All right. This is from DIY Digital Art. And we'll do this first. Since it's just right here, right? That is if I can get it out of its bubble wrap. We're trying. Well, this makes the third one that I've got. One, two, three. Nope, fourth one. Oops. And I wish they wouldn't put it in bubble wrap. It just makes everything bizarre. I may just cut those things off and just use it as a needle minder because it bends them in there. Hang on just a second. Let me see if we can fix this. <laughs> we have tools. Get it fairly straight. But not too straight. Because they're pretty flimsy, but I like the pictures on them. And this one, it's bent six ways from Sunday. And this is the one I would normally do the most, most using of. Well, I got it fairly straight. Hang in there, guys. Take the paper off the back. And as you can see, it does have a little bit of sparkles, but it's the Pagoda in Winter. Or Pavilion in Winter, I'm not real sure. It's even got a little fishies down here. I think I have this cross-stitch somewhere. I'm not real sure where but yeah cool and it was six dollars so these are various prices at various stores they have some that are oblong and they have some that are round I think I've got all the oblong ones that I want so I may start collecting the round ones. But it is very pretty. Very pretty. So we'll put that up there. Protect it from getting bent up anymore. And let's do the cross stitch. Let me put this away before I... I always mash my fingers in these things. I don't use them very often. Jewelry is so not me. You know, jewelry making not that me. All right, so let's take this out of its bag. And I will get this as close as I possibly can. It's the little birds in a heart shape. And it is a full cross stitch. Let's look at the paper pattern. It doesn't have a picture. This is an, another 40 by 40. Very nicely printed. I don't see any smears or any stains or anything. 40 colors. Holy cow. It's got that 154 purple, like mulberry look. Thread has 310, 550 purple, 823, which is the dark blue, no 939. No, 3371 does have 3865, which is the background. Hmm. So it looks a little bit confetti, you know, here and there where you have like trees and bushes and 
leaves and buds sometimes you know that's the worst part so yeah and it is 157 by 157 so let's take a look at the thread and what else is in here hang on does come with a sheet on how to turn it the right way how to start how to finish it even shows you at the bottom how to cross stitch so if you're a beginner at this then you'll have all the instructions you need to start stitching and we did get a toolkit five needles poof ball thimble and needle threader and we got the puppy dogs this time set that aside let's take a look at the threads and it does tell you here it's 40 by 40 and it has the same product number right here comes separately wrapped I like that it has two skeins of 3865 it's kind of got a, a green tone to it I don't know how else to explain it it's more of a a creamy color like a crew no I don't know. you know what I mean it's it's more creamy than uh, B5200 let's look at all these I'm liking these a little bit smaller size pictures I have a horde of large pictures so we might as well just do the the others now you know so this is where your 3865 goes you got a gold and you got some teal and kind of a periwinkle blue I always like little periwinkles they were so cute find them all the time when I was little and bachelor's buttons and here's the rest of your colors you got some pale pink here lot of it compared to the rest very nice bright bright orange there and then over here we got purples and pinks and reds and fuchsias there's your 550 purple 310 black and there's that mulberry color that I was talking about beautiful colors just awesome and actually I thought this was going to be a partial when I saw it at the on the website I didn't realize that you know you had to do the whole thing whoops oh hang on that won't do not for me nope 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 put those colors right there in the middle and wrap everything up because you know stuff happens and then we'll go on to the canvas canvas is surged all the way around Get all the little fuzzies off the ends. This is about the same size as the, uh, you know, the Tai Chi ones. I think they're either 40 or 45. Very nicely printed. Not a whole lot of stitching. And since the background is going to be white, you could just leave the background and not do it. And just do the, the center picture. But it's very nicely printed a little bit of the stitching does go into the numbers but the paper pattern will match the canvas product number how big it is and how many squares per square all on your canvas Let's see how big that canvas is it's 40 centimeters by 41 centimeters or 16 inches actual picture is almost thir 13 and a half ish or 34 and a half centimeters by the same did I say 34 I meant 33 yeah it's 34 that way 34 and a half and 33 and a half that away so very nice very nicely done it's not too big it's a perfect project for summer because it's lightweight 
whoops, there goes my scissors. Well, I'll have to get them in a minute. Now, this one was $8.50. We'll get to the other one here. And this one was $8.50 as well. All kind of stuck it in there. Let me get a hold of the paper. And I will hold that up as steady as I can. It's an owl sitting on a branch with all kinds of flowers. He's got lots of blues and teals in him. I just thought he was kind of beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. And this is the same thing. Paper pattern will match the canvas. It is probably by the same company because it's made just the same. Product number, how big it is, and then down here it's 147 by 147. It also has 40 colors. So we have 310 black, no 550 purple, does have some 823 dark blue no 939 and it has 3865 as well for your background so very nice and very well printed it is going to be confettied pretty much everywhere except for that background same thing applies if it's going to be white in the end anyway what's the point of stitching it all unless you're just you just want to do that you know you can do as you want but i would stitch all this this pattern first and then make a judgment call myself but that's just me just me well don't even it's about to fall off as well so it comes with five needles poof ball thimble and needle threader and this time we have a carp or a koi I'm not real sure but he's kind of cool looking. Yeah. So they change it up here and there. It also comes with instructions on how to start, how to finish, which is nice. I like it in these smaller kits because if I was new at this, I wouldn't go out and buy 100 by 100, 250 centimeters and start. Not unless I knew that I was absolutely going to love and adore cross stitching because that wouldn't be happening. So in these smaller kits it's nice that they do put in those instructions because if you've never done this you don't know where to start you know what I mean and it's just nice to have Let's take a look at the colors in this one also comes in its own paper I mean own plastic bag and once again 40 by 40 and the product number on the bag matching paper pattern and the canvas just one minute please okay sorry about that so anyway it comes with two skeins of 3865 so that's nice if you need it for that we'll get this unwound here I just like the size of these and I hope that the uh, what do you call it the definition will be there so we have lots of reds we have gold we have kind of a uh, muted blue tan coral kind of a darker coral dark navy teal oranges reds dark dark green 310 black and here's the rest of them it's about the same colors only this is a little a little more colorful i think than the birds you know the birds have their own set of colors but i i do like that i like the oranges and the reds together everything it's just beautiful 
and they're not too big. They're easy to take somewhere. I mean, I took it when I we went someplace with my daughter, and I just grabbed one of the real small ones, and oh, I know I dumped my scissors, didn't I? And it was really nice to kit up. I took one of my little lipstick tubes that had stuff in it and needles. In fact, I took this other one. I even had a piece of that tape so I'd had a, a thimble and I wouldn't have to worry about losing my other thimbles. But yeah, they're very nice and easy to cart. Well, let's take a look at this. It is surged all the way around. And the surging does not go into the numbers this time. It is kind of confettied. I mean, that you can see that in that bird. Just a little bit of everywhere. But there are a little bit bigger areas. So, but they're so nice to hang on to and stitch. And it's easy to make progress with them. Yeah, I do like that. Did I tell you how much this was? It was eight fifty as well. And I think there are others of these same, you know, 40 by 40 size in the 11 counts. And I'm glad to see them getting them into 11 count as well as 14 counts. Because there's that other series where the animals, it looks like, let's say it looks like a cat. But when you look at it really up close, it um, it's like flowers and grasses and all kinds of things that make it up so that your eye matrix it to look like a cat. Does that make sense? Well, this isn't quite that, but there's a, a series of those. But I do believe that those are 14 counts. I might be wrong. But whoops. Whoa. Sorry. Didn't mean to hit the hit everything and make y'all whoppy jod. All right, I think this is gonna be about the same size. It's 40 that way. And it is 40 and a half that way. That's 34 centimeters or a little over, almost exactly 13 and a half inches by 13 and a quarter inches or 33 and a half so not too big I just think they're the right size I just I it's not too big not too small it's not overwhelming you know it's not solid 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 confetti because you get tired of doing one area here and then you go over here and you do a little bit of that and then you do some more stuff you know so you can skip around you don't have to some people do. They start and they just do all that square and all that square and all that square and all, you know. And I, I can't do that. I am so not that person. I wish I could be, but no, no, can't do it. All right, we got one more and it's a Joy Sunday. Let me see if I can get this all out of here so you don't have to look at the, uh, the glare does come in a Joy Sunday bag. All its instructions are on the back. These are lovely bags and they do have a hole in them so that air can flow through while it's stored so that it won't gather any kind of mold or mildew or whatever you get, you know, in the Midwest. I don't have that problem here too much, but yeah. All right. So this one was $3. It is a biggie. I'm telling you, it's huge. It's ginormous. Yeah. It's 20 by 14 centimeters, and it is a 14 count. Now, they do have, I'll say, three or four of these of the rabbits doing this or that, but I just like this one. I just thought it was cute and very doable and very easy. I just, I just love those rabbits. They're just too cute. Now, this is a newer one, so it has the, the colors on the chart are up here, and the colors here are on the canvas. And it has 15 colors. Very nice chart. It's all on one page. 
so you can see where to put all the, the back stitching. It has full cross stitch and back stitch, and it does have half stitch. Sorry. Full half and back stitch. No French knots. But yeah, it just looks like a nice, simple little picture. It's about the same size as Peter Rabbit, I think, that I got. And I like that size. This has more half cross stitch in the background than Peter Rabbit did. So, yes, very, very cute. Just, it's adorable. Come on. Gotta have cutesy every once in a while. It's 82 by 52. And these are the colors. Not too many, huh? It'd probably take somebody that's real skilled at this two days to finish this. Yeah, because it's not that big. It does come with two needles, and it's one of the nice new ones where you, the red numbers are how many strands you have, then the DMC number, and then the thread card number. So not too many colors. But, yeah, they're just cute. So we're just going to fold that up so it doesn't get in a knot. So this wouldn't take you no time at all to do. Okay, maybe a week, but I doubt it. Look at this. It's like a postage stamp compared to these other things. Oh my goodness. Now, this, when you look at that, it just looks like a blob. But that back stitching is going to make this. And at 310 is what you're going to use for the back stitching. So see, there is not much... And there's all your colors. Full stitch, half stitch, and your back stitch. Yeah, it's just cute. So if you want it, this would be a weekend project. There you go. It's a weekend project. Because you could do this in no time. It is a little over 19, about, we'll call it 19 and a half centimeters. Or 7 and 3 quarters that way. And it is five and a half this way or 14 centimeters. Actual picture size is three, three and three quarters, three and three quarters or nine and a half centimeters by 14, a little over 14. 14 and a half centimeters or five and three quarters so let's see four by six would it fit it will fit in a four by six frame yeah pretty close but yeah it's just cute so if you wanted these for like a baby's room you could set like three or four of these around or whatever to decorate or hang them up whatever you want to do but yeah it was just tiny and cute and i like the bunnies sorry what can i say gotta have cuteness every once in a while very nice very very nice and lots of half cross stitching so yeah all right, guys, that is all from DIY Digital Art. Thank you, DIY Digital Art, for these beautiful kids. I don't know which one I'm going to start first, but you know something's going to happen. Now, DIY Digital Art has uh, diamond painting and cross stitch. They have a separate Joy Sunday section. And I was looking to see, they do have paint by number. Uh, jigsaw puzzles they also have that extra in the, there's like an other category uh, along the top and when you click on it they have home and garden stuff lights lighting tools all kinds of home 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 decor not decor that's not the word things to either work on your house or put outside you know to decorate the outdoors your gardens and stuff so do check them out. They have lots of things there for everybody. And what else is I going to tell you? There was something. Oh my gosh. If they have any specials, I will put it in the description box below. I'm not sure if I have a... You know what I'm talking about. An off... What do you call it? 
like seven five percent seven percent off coupon type thing there i will put that in the description box below thank you for joining me today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy we'll see you next time god bless bye bye